Hello everyone, I'm Mar Benitez, Library Assistant at the Seguin Public Library. Today I've got a cozy fall craft for you all. If you picked up your packet at the library, you should have all that you need. If you're a visitor, then welcome! You'll need paint in one color for your tree trunk and an assortment of buttons for the leaves. We'll be making an autumn tree, so we will be using brown for the trunk and orange for the leaves. You can use just about any kind of painting utensil, but for our rough, scratchy bark look, we'll be using a stick and a toothpick. To get started, we'll take some brown paint on the tip of our stick and draft out the beginnings of our tree trunk shape. Don't worry if it looks a bit scratchy and messy. This will all add character to the bark of our tree as we go along. Next, turn your stick on its side and tap it in the paint, then tap it all along your tree shape on the canvas to fill it in. Finally, take your toothpick and use it to pick up and scratch paint all along your branches and roots. Holding it almost flat at an angle helps it carry paint further down the canvas. Take your time with this part, making your branches stand out clearly. Dragging it through the paint on the tree trunk helps create even more variation in the tree bark. Set this aside until it is completely dry. Once it's done drying, dump out your collection of buttons and begin arranging them on the canvas. Don't glue them just yet. We're trying to get an idea of what we want our tree to look like. Arranging the buttons is my favorite part, sorting through the different shapes and shades. I like beginning with the biggest buttons and filling in with the smaller ones. Make sure that they are laying right side up so that the flat bottom side can stick to the surface in the next step. Once you've got a pretty good idea of what you want your tree to look like, take your buttons and glue them one at a time into place. Let this dry, then your cozy piece of art is ready to display. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep an eye out on our social media for more activities and crafting tips, tricks, and ideas.